Well, it feels like the first day of... What in the world is that? Good luck, baby. <laughs> this is not good. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian. You're watching Angling Anarchy. I'm fishing with the banana eater back here, Mr. Nathan. Uh, we've got our first taste of fall up here in the North Woods. The trees are just starting to turn. The weather uh, has turned a little bit cooler on us. Uh, we still have water temps in the low 60s though, so this should <laughs> line up for some good musky fishing. We're fishing a brand new body of water that we have never been on. We had some friends out here the other day. They lost a giant and contacted a couple other fish. So we are going to throw some navins because that's what they had luck on, the eight inch navin. Um, a lot of steep banks they were catching their fish on, uh, but there's a lot of stump fields and that sort of thing too. Uh, so we are going to be exploring both of those types of structure and that's it. We're gonna start fishing. All right, we're fishing. We're gonna start off on a steep shoreline. I've got a mid Medusa with a one ounce deep threat weight, throwing it on the Assault Stick 2020, shock and awe with 500 tranks. Nathan, he's got the old trusty eight inch Navin. He's got that on a nine foot SWAT, 400 tranks. That's the equipment for right now. Let's see if we can catch one. Oh boy, I was more. I was concentrating on the one on the left there. Fish. Yep. 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 Come on, buddy, stay down. All right, you ready? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna swing him back up and around. Yes! Woo! That's cool, it came right off that log. You're yep. Bump the log and... Bump the fish. <laughs> Excelente, my friend. We're on spot lock? Uh, yeah, yep. Well, spot locker. If I can remember how to do it, since I use it so infrequently. There we go. good start not a huge fish just a nice chunky little northern Wisconsin fish nice little greeny all right let's see what he is real quick I doubt he's even gonna he's right to the hinge so I'll figure out what that is I'd say 32 yeah 30. yeah Beat up. I don't know if that was from the Medusa or what. No, he had that on his cheek when we were netting him. Did he? Okay. Yep. Just a tough little northern Wisconsin muskie. And there he goes. And that's what? An hour? Are we... Got here at 10. Okay, got here at 10. We're an hour and 15 minutes in. Medusa fish, that's what we're throwing. Medusas and navins right now on steep shorelines. So let's keep it up. All right, folks, real quick explanation on why I was measuring a fish that small. I register all my fish through Muskies Inc. They're a great organization. If you are a muskie fisherman, you need to sign up for a membership for Muskies Inc. and uh, check out your local chapters, meetings, uh, when you get a chance because they're, you can make friends with people that are a wealth of knowledge, uh, people to get out and go fishing with, that sort of thing. But back to measuring the fish, the Muskies Inc. has the lunge log where you enter your fish and they can use those fish that are entered by fishermen for data. Uh, researchers can use that, uh, the lengths and everything uh, to find, you know, figure out growth rates for a region or a specific lake. So that's why I measured that little 
31 incher. Um, my bump board starts at 35, but we had a real specific mark that the tail went to. I measured it with a soft tape. It was 31 right on the head. So that's why I like to get a real accurate measurement when I do that. Um, but just remember to wet the bump board, have the fish out of the water as little as possible, and keep it, you know, keep it in the water. Keep that net in the water. There's too many times that I'm up in northern Wisconsin and I see the net get lifted and plopped in the bottom of the boat. Don't do that. Leave that fish hang out in the net in the water until you're all ready to measure, take a picture, that sort of thing, and get it right back in as soon as you can. All right, folks, as is tradition up in northern Wisconsin, we are lake hopping today. Uh, we got the one fish on the lake we started on that was a brand new one for us. We fished a lot of really cool, good structure, uh, good stuff that the guys we were staying with had fished and saw fish, and we didn't see anything. So we made a switch. We've got weather coming in. Um, what's our water temp, Nate? 64. 64 degrees. That's top water time, baby. Uh, we're going to see if we can get Nathan his first top water fish. Let's get after it. All right, boys and girls, the obnoxious bee, the big mom is coming out. We're gonna throw this, Nathan's throwing a little sister. That is a rock and bait out here as well. It is top water time, let's do it. Yeah. Ooh. I jumped a little bit. That made some noise. I think he kind of flat out missed it. I never really, f but I did. I, I jumped a touch. <laughs> All right. First contact. Oh, man. This. Little sister sounds so perfect and has gotten a lot of fish to hit. So, oh, all right. Hopefully, that's the start of them going. Wait. Yep. I could actually see him that time, but how big was he? Yeah. <sighs> Why they don't just hit it? <laughs> it's beyond me. Perfect time to catch one. I'm not doing anything. Could go no other way. <laughs> I figured you'd get a hand, uh, get a hit when my hand was over. Oh, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Keep her going, keep her going. <laughs> nice. 
There we go, dude. Yes. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll get on the inside of you. And we'll just walk her up front here. All right. Talking about them, wouldn't it be the coolest time to get one? <laughs> That's awesome. I literally just got done taking all the polarized lenses off the uh, cameras here. So let me. Oh, I did the back and forth right there. Yep. You get me? Come here, buddy. One hook, one hook. There we go. There we go. So cool. So cool. Okay, Mr. Hartle. Hey, hey. First topwater fish. First topwater muskie. Muskie. <laughs> yeah. That was dumb of me to say. He's caught tons of other things on topwaters. He's an angry little guy. That was a cool wake. Yeah. Wake down it. Kind of just went left and right. He's an angry little guy. Actually, he might push 32. Maybe 33. Nice greeny. Dark water fish. Yep, nice fat fish, man. Yeah. <laughs> Been caught before. He's got a gill to slouch. Yep. There he goes. Like when you put him in that water, you can't even see him. Yeah, it just it's disappears. So it's like fishing and coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right, folks, mission accomplished. We got him his first topwater muskie. Yep. Yeah. And my personal best muskie in Wisconsin. That's right, earlier my, this week. Yeah. You know what we should do? We'll put a link to that video up here because he got an absolute giant a couple days ago if you missed that video you can watch that we'll put it up here so we've still got some time we can get another fish let's see if we can do it All right, folks, that's a wrap. Mr. Nathan has something to say to all you people out there. <laughs> bananas are a good luck charm, at least for me. <laughs> See? There's no bad luck with bananas. Pish posh. Had one uh, every day in the boat this week. <laughs> we were breaking all the rules, people. Five fish weekend for me, so. So, speaks for itself. Um, and we're not done. We're going to try to go out tomorrow morning. Uh, it's going to be a short uh, little bit of fishing that we're going to do. Um, but yeah, that wraps up tonight. Well, let's see. We explored a little bit, found a fish on a new body of water, yep. came out here, got him his first topwater muskie. So that was a very cool thing. Uh, contacted a couple other fish, got some cool wakes and a blow up out of it. So yeah, that's it. Um, I, got, I got nothing else. So <laughs> we're going to go back, have some pizza, maybe an adult cocktail or two, and wrap up the night. Thank you everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you on the next video.